కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమం మనకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము భయము అడవిలో సింహపు పిల్లలు లేమి గలవై ఆకలిగు నిన్నను ఆయన ఎందు భయభక్తులు గల వారికి ఏ మేలు కొదవయ్ ఉండదు దయాంగ్ లైన్స్ మెగో ఫోర్త్ హంగర్ yet those that fear the lord will not lack any good thing psalm 34 verse 10 adavulo simhapu pillalu lemi galavai aakali goninanu ఆయన ఎందు భయభక్తులు గల వారికి ఏ మేలు కొదవయ్యి ఉండదు కీర్తనల గ్రంథము ముప్పై నాలుగవ అధ్యాయము పదవ వచనము ద లయన్ కప్స్ ద యంగ్ వన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లయన్స్ మే గో హంగ్రీ బట్ దోస్ దట్ Yeah, the Lord will not lack any good thing. Psalm 34 verse 10 Bhaya pada de ni maname Naan kaathe duve nunnai diname Bhaya pada de ni maname నాన్ కాత్తిడువే నున్నై దినమే అద్భుతంగా నాన్ సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే అద్భుతంగా నాన్ సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే నానున్నై విట్టు విలగువదిల్లై నానున్నై ఇండ్రం కైవిడువదిల్లై నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే దిగయ దే కలంగ దే మనమే నానున్నిడం ఇరుకా భయమే దిగయ దే కలంగ దే మనమే నానున్నిడం ఇరుకా భయమే అద్భుతంగా నాన్ సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే అద్భుతంగా నాన్ సేదిడువే అతిశయంగా నాన్ నడతిడువే నానున్నై విట్టు విలగువదిల్లై నానున్నై ఎన్రూ కైవిడువదిల్లై నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే ఇగయ అది కలంగాదే మనమే నానున్నిడం ఇరుకా భయమే అద్భుతంగా నాన్ సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే నానున్నై విట్టు విలగువదిల్లై నానున్నై ఎన్రు కైవిడువదిల్లై నానున్నై విట్టు విలగువదిల్లై నానున్నై ఎన్రు కైవిడువదిల్లై నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే నానున్నై కాన్గిన్ర దేవన్ 
கண்மணி போல் என்னை காப்பேன் பயமோ பேர் அடவுலோ சிம்ஹப்பு பிள்ளலு லேமிகளவாய் ஆக்கலிகொண்டு ஆயனனு நம்முக்குன்னு வாரிக்கி ஆயன எந்து பயபக்துல கல வாரிக்கி ஏ மேலியோ கோதவையை யுண்டது கேர்த்தனல கரந்தமோ முப்பை நாலகவா அத்தியாயமோ பதியவா வச்சனம் தயங் ஒன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த லைன் மே கோ ஹங்கிரி த லைன்ஸ் மே கோ ஹங்கிரி பட் தோஸ் தட் வியர் காட் வில் நாட் லேக் எனி குட் திங் சாம் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் வர்ஸ் டென் யோவனோபிரேக்கோலேமிக்கோலேமிக்கோலோ ரி சமுதிரமுலோ சமரமுலோ ஏ சையமாவோ பிரி ஏஹோ மக்காபரி ஏ சையமாவோ பிரி நாக்கோலே மிக்கலோ கது பாச்சிக்க கல சோட்ல மமு பருண்ட ஜேயுனோ பாச்சி ககல சோட்ல மமு பருண்ட ஜேயுனோ கரமைன ஜலமுல சந்த மம்மு நடிப்பிஞ்சுனு சாந்தி கரமைன ஜலமுல சந்த மம்மு நடிப்பிஞ்சுனு யோ மக்காபரி சயமாவு பிரி மாக்கூலே மிக்கலோகது லோயலோ லோ துலலோ ஏஹோவ மக்காபரி சமுதிரமுலோ சமரமுலோ ஏ சையமாவு பிரி ஏஹோவ மக்காபரி ஏஹோவ மக்காபரி மாக்கூலே மிக்கலோகது பாச்சிக்கல சோட்ல மமு பருண்ட ஜேயுனோ சாந்தி கரமைன ஜலமுல சந்த மம்மு நடிப்பிஞ்சுனு பயமோ அடவிலோ சிம்ஹப்பிள்ளலு லேமிகலவை ஆக்கலி கொனினனு ஆயன எந்து பயபக்துல கலவாரிக்கி ஏ மேலியு கோதவையை உண்டது கீர்த்தன கிரந்தமோ முப்பை நாலுகவ அத்தியாயமோ பதவ வச்சனம் த லாயன்ஸ் மெகோ ஹங்கிரி எட் தோஸ் தட் பியர் காட் will not lack any good thing psalm 34 verse 10 the word of the lord gives faith the word of the lord gives hope the word of the lord gives life even in times of hopelessness so are you in fear are you in hopelessness are you in discouragement are you in depression are you in sorrow are you in loss all around us we see so many people in 
want in need in uncertainty in fear because i am comforted in all kinds of tribulations that i have gone through now i am in a position now i am able to comfort anyone going through any kind of tribulation what a wonderful experience paul had you to have this mind of christ to have courage to go through suffering go through trials go through tribulation go through loss go through humiliation go through rejection because paul had the mind of christ so he is recommending encouraging the church to have the mind of christ you to have the mind of christ what is the mind of christ to desire the bed of roses to desire the comforts to desire honor to desire glory from men to gain riches to uh, to gain fame to gain honor to gain wealth to do the will of my father is food to me all through the life of jesus christ on the planet earth in body and flesh jesus showed the invisible god because sun is the visible image of invisible god jesus christ reflected the invisible god reflected the qualities of invisible god all through his life not seeking anything for himself not seeking anything of his own because love does not seek of its own when all inhabitants of the earth but to have the mind of christ will there be any want will there be any lack will there be any conflict will there be any problem will there be any trouble do we see so many refugees do we see so many hopelessness people in hopelessness do we see so many people in grief in sorrow in pain crying out for help the gospel holds key solution to all the problems and this is the mission entrusted to the church to shine forth the light of the father let your light shine so that people will see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven the church is the bride of Christ holy pure beautiful ananda bharitam ne hrudayam ne prema paramo ananda bharitam ne hrudayam ne prema paramo yesu na dudu ninno pilo aga sedha paduma o sanghama o sanghama priya sanghama o sanghama prabhu sanghama sharano palamulo posina pushpama aga dhalo 
दागिना पद्म अगाधलो यलो दागिना पद्म प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम शारणुपलमूल पोषिण पुष्पम अगाधलो यलो दागिन पद्म प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम कुंडलु दाटी लोयलु दाटी नीदु प्रियुडु निनु चेरगा कुंडलु दाटी बंडलु दाटी नीदु प्रियुडु निनु चेरगा नीदु हृदय मुना निवसिंपानियुमा नीदु हृदय मुना निवसिंपानियुमा सिद्ध पढ़ुमा ओ संघमा ओ संघमा प्रभु संघमा ओ संघमा प्रिय संघमा शारणु पलमूल पोषिण पुष्पमा अगाधलो यलो दागिन पद्म प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम धवलवर्णु रत्नवर्णु पोलचदगु अति सुंदर धवलवर्णु रत्नवर्णु पोलचदगु अति सुंदर गुर्तिंचुमा ओ संघमा गुर्तिंचुमा ओ संघमा शारणु पलमूल पोषिण पुष्पमा अगाधलो यलो दागिन पद्म अगाधलो यलो दागिन पद्म प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय संघम प्रिय भयमो ऑल अराउंड अस वी सी मेनी इन सो मेनी प्रियस एट द वर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड सेस वी आर नॉट We are not. We are not. The word of the Lord gives courage, strength, confidence, hope, encouragement, new life, new enthusiasm. It is good practice to read consistently daily the word of the law because the word is nothing but god himself the word is nothing but christ himself the word should be read with the spirit behind the letter with the spirit with which the letter has been composed and this spirit gives new hope new strength new courage through the written word 
in the beginning there is word and the word was with god and the word was with god and the word took the form of flesh and blood and made its dwelling amidst us the word is christ himself all those that read the book of psalms most of the psalms that are composed by david gets strengthened encouraged receiving new hope new strength new confidence centuries have passed millennia have passed yet the spirit behind the letter the holy spirit the spirit of god that has prompted david to compose the psalms is still alive because god is spirit god is ever living god is ever present source of help though the lions may go hungry those that fear god do not lack any good thing the lesson is fear of god those that fear god will not fear anything in this world this is the lesson to be learnt a journalist an interviewer asks mother teresa mother what are your greatest fears mother teresa answers i fear nothing except offending my lord jesus christ displeasing my lord jesus christ i fear only jesus to offend him to displease him this is the beginning of wisdom if i do not pray for hours a day i will not have strength ability to carry on the work that i do at least for a week in prayer there is strength all through history we see such wonderful examples of faithful people that have received strength hope courage encouragement confidence provision help deliverance by having the fear of god those that fear god will not lack any good thing right from the book of genesis we see this fact this truth joseph feared to offend god to displease god to break the word of god to break the law what is the consequence joseph lacked no good thing joseph became a blessing to multitudes in the time of need our days similar to the days of joseph not awaiting mankind amains are awaiting droughts are awaiting economic collapse is awaiting many uncertainties are awaiting yet those that fear god will not lack any good thing so should not man be wise should not man make a good choice the lions may go hungry there is a possibility that the richest of the richest may not find bread may not find provision yet those that fear god will not lack any good thing 
This doesn't mean that all rich do not have the fear of God. Adversaries are blessing in disguise. Trials, temptations, poverty are blessings in disguise. Most of the rich will have their dependence and reliance and confidence on the goods they possess. So, for the rich to have fear of God, to have faith in God is difficult obviously. That is why the rich, even the rich may go hungry, may be deficient of resources yet. those that fear god will not lack any good thing all through history we see this promise being fulfilled joseph feared god and obeyed to the law obeyed to the word of god obeyed to the commandments of god we are displeasing god ran away from sin it costed joseph so much misunderstanding mistrust false acquisitions his master potiphar that has trusted him so much believed joseph so much entrusted everything to his authority even potiphar doubted the loyalty potiphar doubted the conduct the character of joseph circumstances have led so are you being misunderstood are you in prison are you jobless for the sake of righteousness for following the footsteps of jesus christ we are not the lions may go hunger but those that fear to offend god to displease god that fear to break the commandment of god will not lack any good thing joseph upon lifted to the top of the hill comforting his brothers those that have done wrong to joseph that have sold joseph he is comforting his brothers do not be sorrowful do not be grievous what all you have done god has turned it to my good as well as to the good of multitudes so when a righteous person god fearing person suffers he should not reject the suffering he should not become bitter he should become better you to have this mind of christ joseph had the mind of christ job had the mind of christ david had the mind of christ in tribulations in sorrow they were having fear of god faith on word of god believing the word of god and expecting seeking help and deliverance from god this hope in christ will not put us to shame are you going through trials are you going through, through temptations are you going through difficulties are you going through fears in spite of having faith in god it has happened in history many a time but god has proved his faithfulness if god were to prove his faithfulness to david if god were to prove his faithfulness to daniel if god were to prove his faithfulness to shadrak meshak abedan if god were to prove his faithfulness to joseph if god were to prove his faithfulness to hebel for sure god will prove his faithfulness to you as well take god at his word abraham took god at his word joseph took god at his word esther took god at his word mardukai took god at his word what is the consequence 
miracles have happened mighty things have happened wonderful things have happened the laws have been changed the heart of the king is like streams of water in the hand of god this is the result of fearing god when a man fears god he fears none he fears nothing because even the heart of the king is in the hands of god like the streams of water if a person's conduct were to be good in the sight of god god will turn even his enemies also to be his friends the conduct the character of ruth was pleasing in the sight of god ruth has to move ruth has to shift from moab to bethlehem absolute poverty no provision for the next day lord give us this day our daily bread in the book the necessity of prayer em bounds the man of prayer instructs the church live in today not for tomorrow's bread pray, pray for today's bread and a day's evil is sufficient for that day do not be concerned of future what will happen after me this vast kingdom who will take over who will be ruling over this great nation vast empire after me concern there is a mother after you are passing away what are your concerns and fears for the future of the charity future of the missionaries of charity what are your plans for the future of the missionaries of charity then humbly mother teresa says it's his concern i take one day at a time if i do not pray this one day at least for 4 hours i will not be able to do i could have failed to do the work i have been doing for past many years i could not accomplish the works i have been doing for the past many years if i were to fail in praying there is power in prayer all through the history we see such beautiful examples of men and women of faith faith gives good reward the chosen vessel of god paul writes a beautiful epistle to the hebrews in the book of hebrews in the book in the letter to the hebrews paul writes many precious things regarding faith the gallery of heroes of faith is so beautifully compiled without seeing all these things who can write so beautifully regarding the gallery of heroes of faith that have inherited the inheritance of the saints inherited the inheritance of the holy people faithful people let us run the race that is set before us with endurance leaving aside all kinds of sin that can catch hold of you and that can hinder your progress in your 
journey towards the celestial city in the epistle to hebrews chapter 11 paul writes so beautifully regarding the heroes of faith that have accomplished their journey and safely landed in the destination in the heaven inherited the inheritance of the holy this is the result of fearing god all those that found their names in the list of gallery of faith heroes of gallery heroes of faith have one quality in particular the fear of god because the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom fear of god out of love for god fear of god out of obedience for god as the child fears the father god expects men and women created in his image to show reverence to him to fear him to love him to obey him and the consequence is rewarding how much joseph has been exalted when joseph feared god what joseph possessed when he was separated from his father from the love of his father jacob joseph possessed nothing with empty hands joseph was taken as a slave by the ishmaelites his own siblings have sold joseph to ishmaelites the traders having nothing but possessing everything the law was hidden in the heart of joseph this is the secret of the fruitfulness of joseph during the times of joseph towards the end of the book of genesis is there any law that was given the law was given on mount sinai to the servant of the lord moshe upon deliverance rescue of the children of god from the slavery from the oppression from the oppression of the king of egypt pharaoh during the times of joseph there has been no written law to cherish to meditate to rejoice to get comforted to get encouraged there has been no written law we are fortunate that we have the law today we have the word of god we can read we can feel even the poorest of the poor have access to the word of god our daily bread ministries is doing wonderful job really it has been the rich tradition of our daily bread ministries to circulate pamphlets to circulate booklets leaflets of the word of god that gives hope there are many stories there are many testimonies and the conversions are indeed vast every new can corner the word of god has been spread to through gideon ministries through our daily bread ministries what a wonderful work such faithful servants of the lord are consistently doing for years freely freely distributing the bibles freely distributing the booklets freely distributing the pamphlets everything without expecting nothing and of course such ministers will be rewarded greatly because they are following the commandment and word of god freely you received freely you give you have not brought anything to this world from your mother whom you have come with empty hands you will go away from this world empty handed except that your deeds will follow you shine let your light shine so that people will see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven what a wonderful 
Marvelous deeds Joseph has done. What a wonderful light Joseph has shined. Where is the church? Where is the church during the times of Joseph? You yourself are the church. Again, the, review, the interviewer, the journalist asks Teresa, Mother Teresa, Mother, what is your opinion regarding the present day state of affairs of the church? Is the church doing enough for converting people? Then, again, Mother Teresa, through divine wisdom, which is pure from above, answers, Aren't you and me the church? Are you not church? Am I not church? Are we not church? Are we doing enough? We should question that way. Is the church doing enough for making the world better? Aren't you the church? Am I not the church? Are we doing our part? Are we faithful to our groom? What a wonderful understanding of what the church is. Know ye not, you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. You are the church. I am the church. Mother, when the place with so many intellectuals the harvard university world renowned university booed you humiliated you opposed you when you said that abortion is the greatest of the evils prevailing in the day how did you feel did it hurt you when everyone with a single tone opposed your speech when you pointed out the evil practice of abortion all the students with a unanimous voice booed you did you take it as an insult how was it I gave it to the Lord. I am just a pencil in the hand of the Lord. Let him write what he want to write. I will allow him to use me according to his will. I just allowed Lord to speak what he want to speak. I am just a channel of his voice i just allowed lord to speak what he want to speak to the audience i just gave it to the lord honor or dishonor when it is taken to the lord the exchange the divine exchange is the same the divine peace there used to be a gospel preacher soon after the sermons have been delivered open air sermons and many crusades were over it is her practice that soon after the sermon is over soon after the crusade is over soon after the open air preachings are over however tired she was to be whether she was to be in her hotel room or she was to be in her lodging away from home for the work of spreading the gospel Wherever she was lodged, she used to faithfully kneel down in the night, in the dark hours, just used to transfer all the glory to God. All her burden, whether it is acceptance or rejectance. The reward is the divine peace. We are supposed to carry peace. all our burdens to the lord all our praises to god what a friend we have in jesus all our sins and griefs to bear 
Oh, can we find a friend, friends of faithful who will all our sorrow share? Whatever may be your sorrows, whatever may be your fears, whatever may be your rejections, whatever humiliation you might be going through, whatever opposition you might be going through, whatever rejection you might be going through, take it to the Lord and the exchange is the same. Divine peace. My peace I give you. Not the peace that the world gives. The world knows. That doesn't know my peace. I will give my peace to you. Not the peace as the world gives. The calmness in the spirit, the quietness, the divine peace, consolation, comfort. Even in prison, Joseph was given the fellowship of God. Joseph was comforted. through the law that was written in his heart that was governing the conduct and character of Joseph. He was a pleasing aroma to all around in the prison. The prison guard was so pleased with the conduct and character of Joseph that he made him in charge over all the prisoners. What is the difference between conduct and character? Soon after the school studies were completed, college studies were completed, university studies were completed, the students will be provided with conduct and character certificate. It is a question in the minds of many students, is there any difference between conduct and character? What is the difference? Young minds will always pose many questions. It is good to question. Only then we can find answer. Many people used to come to Jesus Christ with so many questions and they used to receive wonderful answers. Through simple parables, Jesus Christ used to reveal the invisible things. Things related to heaven. E.M. Bounds that has pastored the church over decades, that has been the symbol of prayer, that has been the monument of faith, right so vividly, so clearly, so beautifully on the difference of conduct and character in the book, The Necessity of Prayer. Prayer and conduct, they are related to each other what is the difference between conduct and character? Example is better than precept. Jesus Christ never told any sermon, never delivered any preaching without beautiful examples, beautiful parables. So that even a layman can understand what Jesus Christ was preaching. E.M. Bounds is such a wonderful teacher of the Bible. E.M. Bounds writes, Character is the root. Conduct is the fruit. Is it not clear? Character is the root of the tree. Conduct is the fruit. Conduct is what we do. Character is what we are. Conduct is what is seen. Character is what is unseen yet could be understood from the deeds. What a beautiful understanding of what conduct is, what character is, how Prayer shapes character and conduct. The outcry is absence of holy life in this materialistic world. And again the servant of the Lord offers the solution. If our prayer chambers, personal secret prayers were not to be too short, 
holy life will not be too strange to us if someone were to be struggling with the practice of holy life the root lies in the absence of secret prayer or shortness of prayer closer times this is the mystery behind the strangeness of holy life how joseph practiced holy life how joseph practiced the presence of god even though the written law was not available brother lawrence again writes in the book practicing the presence of god the sure guide to holy life if i were to be a preacher i would rather preach only one thing that is to practice the presence of god to talk to god to converse with god to listen from god all through the day whether you are doing research whether you are involved in teaching whether you are involved in business whether you are involved in agriculture whatever may be the activity whatever may be the work do not do it apart from god do not do it without god make jesus as your partner make jesus as your friend make jesus as your god converse with him listen to his voice this is the way you can practice the presence of god and this leads to holy life you will be the aroma of christ to all around you you will be a blessing brother lawrence is no preacher he was just doing less significant jobs in monasteries bringing the provision washing the dishes cooking the food cleaning the monastery be faithful in the little and it is in the small things faithfulness in the small things that your strength lies well done faithful servant you have been faithful in the little so i am making you an authority over many fear 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 everyone has to continue his in his salvation walk in his work out his salvation in fear fear of god paul show reverence to god by fearing after preaching to many i myself may get disqualified to enter into the city the celestial city the city of the holies the city of the saints the city of the immortal beings the city of the redeemed if there were to be no city why at all we see such reference all through the bible there is nothing like heaven because devil lost the privilege of being with god because devil is satan is banished from the paradise so satan lies to man satan attracts man to temporal things that will give no life that will give no joy that will give no happiness that saps all the joy all the strength why so many angusters are in prisons why so many angusters are in militants an alternate prime minister says the land of the neighboring nation will be shaked what is the point in issuing such statements life or death is in the power of tongue should we need conflict should we need war should we need threatenings the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom what a meekness moshe has showed all through the work of deliverance what weapons moshe used the lord will give grace to the humble and humbles the proud let no word of pride proceed through your mouth 
is it not me that i have that has built the great empire what will happen after my passing away after me who will inherit what will be the future mother there is our so why is because the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom it's not my concern it's his concern fear not fear not about future edward mckenry bounds writes so clearly ask for today's bread not for tomorrow's bread manna or kept turned to worms manna or kept was spoiled what for you need bread for tomorrow ask for today's bread it is evil is sufficient for that day why do we see so many people without bread why do we see so many people without home why do we see so many people in prisons in hospitals greed greed for wealth is the root cause for all problems greed i want bread for today i want bread for tomorrow i want bread for generations oh my soul i have accumulated so much wealth for you rejoice be merry be joyful be glad there is much plenty of grain i have stored the foolish rich man what is the consequence why at all the rich will have heart on god why at all the rich will think of god why at all the rich will fear god devil has blinded their sight to see do not to see the things that are important this very night your soul is required of the who will inherit all the grain all the riches all the gold all the diamond all the wealth all the provisions that you have accumulated be rich in god let your light shine so that people see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven the law was written in the heart of joseph but today man is so blessed everywhere word is available freely our daily bread ministries gideon ministries this ministries that ministries endless ministries are preaching the word of god with the only single minded devotion objective to put the seed of love in the heart of man to make men to love god and to love his neighbor if man love god loves god if man loves his neighbor where will be the conflict where will be the scarcity where will be the uncertainty where will be the fear where will be the conflict where will be the mistrust where will be the threatenings if the neighboring nations ground shakes will my ground will be pre- safe without any tremors why are the neighbors bad who are making terrorists how many youngsters are misled what are the brooding grounds for militancy terrorism will any youngster desire to become a terrorist will any youngster desire to become a militant will your son desire to become a militant and terrorist put yourself in the shoes of others put yourself in the shoes of terrorist militants i have come to seek the lost sheep only a sick person needs physician why at all the person is sick what is the cause for the sickness who made him sick who is responsible for the sickness what is the root cause for militancy what is the root cause for terrorism what is the root cause for many youngsters going away from the path of peace 
taking up revolvers, taking up guns, 